everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making some amazing hanger steak tacos on the birch barrel. So the first thing that we need to prepare is the marinade for the tacos. So here's what we're gonna do. So start by chopping up a half an onion and add to a blender. Then you wanna add 10 garlic cloves. Next, add four spring onions, roughly chopped, and two tablespoons of chipotle chili powder. You also wanna add two jalapenos and half a bunch of coriander. Next, we're gonna zest and juice three limes and also zest and juice one orange. Then it's time to add one tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of black pepper. We also want to add some olive oil, about two tablespoons, and then two cups of an imperial stout beer. Then you want to blitz it to a paste. The marinade is now ready, so it's time to start preparing and trimming the hanger steaks. And we do that by removing the line of gristle in between the meteor parts. So basically, we're cutting the hanger steak into two parts. Then you want to trim the silver skin and some of the extra fat. Then it's time to pour the marinade over the hanger steak, mix thoroughly, and leave to marinate in the fridge covered for at least an hour and up to two days. So the hanger steak has now been marinated for 24 hours, so they're ready. So now it's time to make the morita and sesame seed salsa. And start by adding one fresh habanero chili, two fresh jalapeno peppers, 10 plum tomatoes, 20 garlic cloves, and two white onions cut in half. You also wanna add seven dried morita chilies to a cast iron pan. Now we want to cook until we get good char marks on the garlic, onions, and the chilies. Now it's time to add all the grilled ingredients to a high-powered blender. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil, a third of a cup of cherry vinegar. We're also going to add one tablespoon of sea salt. You can add more if you like. And finally, three tablespoons of sesame seeds, lightly toasted. Then you want to blitz this to a puree and set aside for later. The salsa is now ready, so next we want to grill up some avocados. Cut two avocados in half, remove the pit, and place flesh down on the birch barrel. Now you want to grill these for two to three minutes or until you get good char marks. Remove them from the grill, cube them, and set them aside. Now you want to grill the hanger steak, so make sure that the birch barrel is smoking hot. Add the steak and cook until it's charred on the outside and medium rare on the inside for about three minutes on each side. I like to turn them quite frequently to make sure that they don't get burnt. If you have some thicker pieces, you can also raise the lid for a while and make sure that they cook a little bit further away from the fire. When they're ready, take the steaks off the grill and leave them to rest for at least three minutes. Then it's time to build the tacos. Start by placing some baby arugula on some warmed up flour tortillas. Then we're gonna add the marita and sesame salsa. Next, we wanna place plenty of the grilled avocado on the tortilla. And then it's time to slice the hanger steaks into thin slices and place plenty of hanger steak on each tortilla. Then you wanna drizzle it with a lime cilantro crema. Then we're gonna to top it off with cilantro and last but not least, squeeze a little bit of lime juice on top of them. And then they're ready to serve. And that is how I make my grilled hanger steak taco on the birch barrel. And I think the only thing left to do is to try this and see what it tastes like. And it looks amazing. So here we go. Mm, come on. Steak cooked to perfection. The salsa brings a nice heat. It's just a very, very good and balanced tacos and extremely tasty. So I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling. Mm.